In response to Georgia Power's request to assess a fee for use of the electrical power grid on those generating solar power, Northwest spoke in opposition to the proposal at a Public Service Commission comment forum. I'm the leader of our Earth Ministry team and have been uh, closely involved in installing a solar array on our church. I'm here with Keith Krejcik, president of our congregation. We're here to express why, as members of the community of faith, supporting solar energy, we oppose the proposed solar tariff SPS-1. We installed a 4 kilowatt photovoltaic array on our sanctuary roof in 2008 because we feel strongly that we have an obligation to be the best stewards of Earth. As far as we know, we were the first community of faith in Georgia to accomplish this. We feel that generating solar energy enables us to reduce our contribution to atmospheric pollution from coal-fired power plants. As a faith community, we believe we have a responsibility to preserve and maintain our environment. If we damage the earth, we dishonor our God and our fellow man. We must move towards a long-term goal of sustainable use of earth's resources as trusted keepers of our beautiful home. When we undertook the project, we had hoped to be able to sell our electricity to Georgia Power at 17 cents per kilowatt hour, but that program filled up before we were able to participate. We currently are paid about 4 cents per kilowatt hour for the little amount of power we don't consume. And as you're aware, churches are not are tax exempt and so don't qualify for the tax credits that accrue to the, uh, that reduce the cost of solar installations for residential and commercial customers. If this SPS tariff is approved, the payback period, already 10 to 15 years for a typical church array, might actually extend beyond the anticipated 20 to 30 year useful life of the array, making solar electric installation financially untenable. We're also concerned about the loss of rate choice. If the SPS tariff is approved, it is our understanding that we may be forced onto a different and more costly rate if we move forward with our plans to expand our system. We do not believe that expanding our system should cause us to lose rate choice. A rapidly growing solar cogeneration industry and the associated businesses will result in more jobs for Georgia. Our best hope for maintaining an influential economic force in a competitive world is to foster, not discourage, investment in and innovation among suppliers of energy. We recognize that there are costs associated with maintaining the electrical distribution grid in Georgia. However, unless and until Georgia Power has substantiated the specific costs of solar installations to its system and shown that these costs exceed the, the many benefits of solar, we do not believe that solar installers should be singled out for a special tax, especially one that will make it uneconomic to go solar. For all these reasons, we respectfully urge the Commission to disapprove the proposed uh, SPS tariff so that residents, businesses, farmers, and other faith-based faith congregations like us can take full advantage of this God-given resource, the sun. Here comes the sun, do do Here comes the sun, I say, it's all right.